So one interesting feature of Vector Talk Optics is its object-oriented HMI capabilities. And what that kind of means for us is that we can create kind of one object as kind of the base object or the parent or the template. And then we can deploy that object throughout the application. And if we make changes to that base object, then it would permeate those changes throughout all the instances um, of the object used throughout the project. So let me just show how that works. Um, going back to my uh, kind of routine, the, the, uh, the project I've already kind of created, I have you know some basic structure created such as the main window and, uh, and some pages. But what I could do is I can uh, come up to UI, right click, say new and create a new folder. And I can rename this folder uh, anything. I'm just gonna call it the uh, base objects. And the idea of a folder is simply just a place to help you organize um, content in the project. And then under base objects, this is where I'll go create that, that base object. And basically we're gonna create a new container and we'll call it, you know, so we're gonna right click new containers and then a panel. And we call it, it's called panel one. Now, in the previous example, I was kind of creating a little, you know, remote pump control over Modbus. So maybe um, we would call this um, panel pump info, kind of create a widget, you know, that we could that we could use for multiple pumps. So if I double click on pump info, it'll create it'll open up the um, you know the, the panel in the in the canvas here that we can edit. I could resize this. Um, however I want. I can come over here to properties and resize it as well. Uh, then I can put some objects on here. So for instance, I can right click, say new base controls, and I could put a um, linear gauge. And I'll have to resize it to fit in here. And then I can right click and add some other things such as um, if I wanted to put an LED show the pumps running or something. Um, I could also right click and we'll just add a couple of, um, we'll add a couple of those uh, switches we had earlier too. So do that. Now, I'm not gonna put any of the properties over here as far as I like connecting it to a tag, but what I can do is I, I can at least say that at the very least we want this to be a toggle switch. And then I will uh, copy it and paste it. So we can have two for start and stop. And then the last thing I'll do just to, just to show is uh, we'll add uh, a label. And I'll call it pump X. All right, so now we have our uh, kind of our pump info base object created. Now, if I come back up here to our pump panel, so this is kind of the panel that gets opened up in the main window. I can actually now right click on here. And when I say new, I now have a folder or I have, an, I have a menu object or a menu called base objects based on that folder I created and I can choose the pump info object I created. So there is uh, an instance of, of that pump info. I can right click on this, say copy and choose to paste it. And I got another instance. I can also come back to here um, to the right click on the panel name, say new, and go to base objects and pump info. So I now have three instances of this uh, on this one panel. Now any one of these, um, so they're all copies of each other, but they're completely uh, independent of each other. So if I were to go ahead and, and start the emulator, we can see that if I were to change the one in the middle, it didn't change the one on the left or the right. So they are, um, you know, they're, they're clones of each other. They're completely independent of each other. Same thing if I were to turn on 
a few of these um, start and stop switches. Now, if I want to go ahead and make some uh, some customizations to one of these, I can unlock it. And then let's say I wanted to change the scale on this one to be 50 versus 100. Let's say I wanted to make this LED um, another color like blue. And maybe put the switch like that. Then I can lock it back. So I can customize each one. Now, if I go back to my base object, my pump info, let's say that I now change this to become a rectangular LED. And let's say that uh, I change this now uh, to be um, a maximum scale of 200 versus 100. Well, if I come back to my pump one screen, we can see that in the cases of uh, the left and the, the right most widgets, um, basically it changed it to 200 and it changed it to a rectangle. It did not change the scale on the one in the middle because I had already customized it. It also did change the LED to a square. So it did keep that property or did update that property but it kept it blue because I had already told it to be a blue um, LED. So this is pretty, uh, this is pretty, pretty nice and pretty interesting. Uh, we can create, you know, one object and then uh, deploy it throughout and then uh, customize it uh, individually, but then certain properties from the parent will get uh, permeated throughout all the, all the instances that have been used throughout the optics project.